Well, we've been keeping an eye on variant strains of COVID-19, which are worrisome as we continue to work on slowing the spread of the, vac the virus while vaccines roll out. And joining us to talk about these mutations is Dr. Virginia Beluck, Chief of Infectious Diseases with Hartford HealthCare's Hospital of Central Connecticut. Doctor, welcome back. Good afternoon. Pleasure to be here. Oh, well, thank you. You're always great insight. What can you tell us about this new variant of COVID and how different is it from the virus that we've been fighting for the past year? Well, viruses mutate normally as uh, as they make mistakes, as they are replicating themselves. So it's not at all surprising that this virus has changed. This virus has a number of different mutations in it. At least one of those seems to allow the virus to spread more rapidly from person to person. It does not cause a more severe disease. It does not cause a milder disease, but it seems to spread throughout a population more rapidly. And we learn so much every week and really every day. How, do you have any idea how much more contagious we know it is today? Well, I think uh, scientists are still working out exactly how much more contagious it is. Okay. Once what, a, oh, sorry. Go once ahead, you have a, Once you have a variant in a population, it if it spreads more rapidly, it will become the dominant uh, variant in that population. All right, what about the current vaccines? Will they protect us from the variant of the virus? Great question. Uh, thus far, scientists believe that the current vaccines will be effective against this variant of the virus. And that is such good news mm -hmm. at the bottom, at the end of every day. All right, will this virus continue to evolve and mutate, creating even newer variants over the course of months or years? What are your thoughts on that? Viruses do make changes because they make mistakes. And as long as this virus continues to spread as it is, it will continue to make changes. Some of it make some of those changes make it a less fit virus, and some of those changes will make it a more fit virus. So the key to controlling the changes in this virus is really widespread vaccination. All right, let's talk about combating the virus. As an infectious disease doctor, your message to the public? Well, one, thank you for giving me this opportunity to say that one thing we do know about the variant is that it can be controlled by the same measures that we've been recommending all along. Wear your mask, practice social distancing, hand hygiene. We know that's still going to be effective against this virus until we can get enough of the community vaccinated so that we have uh, the virus can't spread from person to person. All right, and one more quick question. Your message about getting vaccinated. A lot of people are hesitant. Yeah. This vaccine has been well studied. It's a safe vaccine, and it's actually more effective than anybody was hoping for. Both of the two mRNA vaccines available are 95% effective in preventing you from getting sick from COVID-19. So I encourage everybody, when, you, when it's your turn, go out and get your vaccine. It's, it's a great public health measure. And you bring up a good point. The scientists were even pleasantly surprised when they saw how effective it really is. So great point. Dr. Virginia Beluck, Chief of Infectious Diseases at the Hospital of Central Connecticut. Thanks once again for joining us. Oh, you're welcome. Have a great day. And to you.